Now, earthquakes are an expected part of life here in California, and they can catch us by surprise. They sure can. New at 6, as John Ramos reports, an early warning system may finally be getting a financial shot in the arm. Here at UC Berkeley, the Hayward Fault runs right down the center of Memorial Stadium. But there is another reason why the university is considered one of the epicenters of earthquake preparedness. The thing that makes earthquakes so unnerving is they happen without warning. Or do they? Earthquake, earthquake. This is an actual alert put out after the Napa earthquake in 2014. It came from Shake Alert, a West Coast quake warning system developed in part at the Seismological Laboratory at UC Berkeley. It's not prediction. We can't tell you there's going to be an earthquake in a week. But what we can tell you is that an earthquake has occurred and you're about to feel shaking. Dr. Angela Chung and Dr. Peggy Helweg work on the project, which, in partnership with the U.S. Geological Survey, uses hundreds of seismic sensing stations placed strategically throughout California, Oregon, and Washington. The the thing that actually makes earthquake early warning possible now, which it wouldn't have been, say, 30 or 40 years ago, was that we're getting data in real time from those stations. The idea is to give people some kind of warning, perhaps just a few seconds, that the world is about to start rocking. What would people have time to do? Well, how much time do you need to do this? <laughs> Right? I mean, it doesn't, take, it doesn't take long to get under a table. The program began clear back in 2006, but now Governor Newsom's first budget reportedly includes $16.3 million to finish building California's part of the project. Transit agencies like BART are already tied into the system, but the technical challenge now is figuring a way to get the alerts out quickly enough to the people's cell phones. A few seconds makes a big difference. And it's not currently possible to send an alert to all people in the Bay Area within a second or two. But that's where the biggest benefit lies, giving us all a chance to dive for cover and hang on if and when the big one hits. Always a scary thought, and scientists say it is possible a magnitude 9 quake could come from the Cascadia Fault running through Washington and Oregon. That can cause damage in northern and southern California, but we also have, may have several minutes of warning before it strikes.